What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turning up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So, they're still broken. We finally, finally, finally got a hold of one guy. Um, the Naco Tech. <clears throat> it's not the same one we used before. It's a different one. And my husband talked to him, then I talked to him. He was like, just email me. Like, the issues you're having, what machines you have, your address and your phone number and I'll see what I can do it won't be anything too soon so I did call Angela actually I texted her and then she called me which this is from her <laughs> um, it's okay so I took the thing off so it looks a little weird right now. But these are my needles, right? So it happened here on number eight. And then the thing was down. And you gotta turn. Okay. 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 There's a, a hole. Ooh, there it is. See that hole? So you gotta stick your arm up in there. And it's good if you have something, which we have this, which is a, like a jar opener. And you reach up in there and you turn it. And you got to turn it. See, look. See, it moves. It moves. See that moving? So. It's just moving. It's not actually moving this needle case right here. It's moving this guy. And then when I started up, and I've tried all everything, and it's just like, no. So, me and my husband are going to attempt to see if we can get this guy, the hook eye. I don't, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> but I've got some shirts. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, so I ordered 12, 10... And I think two eights, one, two, three sixes, and three five P. She's been out of a lot of her smaller sizes, but I did order some smaller ones from um, Blank's Boutique. But I've been having issues with um, um, the past two shirts that I used from Blank's Boutique had like spots on them. I was able to get them off but they were almost in the same spot on the shirts so um and then i had somebody they're like thinner i had somebody complain that they were a thinner shirt so i ordered the bigger sizes from angela since she had them and yeah so right now i am I emailed like Amazon's here. Um, I emailed like three so far of the customers whose orders were supposed to ship today. I have to email some more. This person said it's fine, so I just said. Um, hello, I'm reaching out to you to let you know both of my embroidery machines are down at the moment. I called a technician. He's going to get back with me with a time he can come out. It may be a couple days before I can ship this. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just went upstairs. <laughs> um, please let me know if that's okay. I have an older small one needle machine. I'm going to see if I can get up and going in the meantime. 
to get some of my orders done in time. I normally run two 16 needle Melco embroidery machines. Sorry for the delay, I just wanted to update you and she said it's fine. So I sent a couple more and I just copied and pasted and I'm going to message my other ones as well. I feel like if I'm, you know, first to message them as opposed to them messaging me saying where's your order and I like have an excuse, you know what I mean? So. downstairs I figured I'd come down here and clean up a little bit straighten up my machines are still broken I haven't heard back from the guy which is I've already emailed him multiple times before we finally got him on the phone um, at first I just emailed him thinking you know he'll respond back with his fees and then like it was almost like I had a choice, like I was trying to choose between this guy or the other guy that I used before. So we messaged this guy and he never responded. His name is Vince. And then I'm like, okay, he's not responding. Emailed him again, no response. So we're like, we'll call the other guy. So my husband called, left a voicemail, um, just said, you know, you worked on a machine before and we didn't know if you were still working on machines um could you give us a call back and please let us know and if so you know blah 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 and he never returned a call this was on a thursday last thursday friday i know it was before the weekend so um so we just assumed that he'd probably call us back like monday and we didn't get the call Monday and then my machine broke as you guys know and so then we're like okay but in the meantime I had um we called that guy we left him a voicemail we called my husband tried to call him again and went to voicemail but he didn't leave another voicemail and then he texted him and hasn't heard nothing from that guy the guy that came here before named Paul and so I had message emailed that guy three times, the other guy three times, and I think my husband had tried to call once. So then um, he finally got through to him, and that was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And he just said, you know, text or email me. Write down my email. Here's my email. Email me the machines you have, the issues you're having, your address and your phone number, and I will let you know. And he's like, it won't be anytime soon. What does that mean? Does that mean it's not going to be like today or tomorrow, but it might be like Monday? Does that mean it's like three weeks out? Does that mean it's a month out? I don't know, but I cannot. I have to have, this is, this is my job and this is you know what I have to do to make money I have 70 something orders right now that need to go out I had it's kind of funny though because I had this person and they're like I need this by the 9th so I was like okay well you'll if you need it that soon you'd have to do like a five-day rush even a three-day rush to you know just to make sure you get it in time um, Oh, I don't want to pay that. Can't you do me a favor? So, uh, no. And they just ordered anyway. And then did 10 day. And said, Aww. 
if I don't get it by this date, then I'm just going to return it. What is it, my love? Mama has to try to get a machine going. So anyway, um, needless to say, they messaged me this morning and said, is this shipping today? It's been one full day, just one full day. They ordered the 31st and it was in the afternoon sometime. So yesterday afternoon would have been 24 hours. So they messaged me this morning, probably about 10 a.m. I mean, we hadn't even hit 48 hours yet and they want to know if their order's going to ship out. Um, no, I've got, you know, I appreciate I appreciate the business. I appreciate people ordering from me. It's not that I don't. But sometimes I think people think, I don't know, maybe they just think you're not doing anything. Maybe they think like, you know, you get an order and you put it out and you get an order. Not that you have a stack of orders already before they place their order. They might think you have an order and you put it out. And you know what I mean? And here's, and you can just, you have free time and you can do this. But anyway, not when these guys are broken. I pulled this out. I was looking at everything. I haven't tried it today. I don't think today will be any different than yesterday. Okay, see how... This is the, this is the one we had the issue with. See how I can move that one? Oh, actually, I guess I can. Some of these other ones. But when I fire it up, this... It's like this thing is stuck. I have no idea. And this one, I think the hook timing is off. So when this one went out, it was stitching white. And then it just, the thread broke and it was like, what? It was like all clogged up. So then I like restitched it and then I watched it. And it just would not hook that white. So I didn't try any of the other needles. And I'm like, what if, you know, what if that, it's that needle. What if there's just something, what if that needle is just like off by, you know, something. And so it's not hitting where it should, like, like, um, it has to go down so far into the thing. And then it, the bobbin hooks it, you know. So what if... This needle is off just a little bit, so it's not hitting that right spot to get hooked. So, you know, you, you think of these things because you're like, please let that be it, please. So I'm going to try to fire this up and just see what happens. Um, try different needles. If it is that needle, and if, you know, I don't know. I don't know at this point. This one had issues. This one had this, and now these needle, these, the needles on this side were the, I think it was number four. Four? No. Maybe it was number four. One of them had an issue in everything to this side when it goes to switch over to there. It like hit something. So I definitely do need to have a technician come and look at that. Because um, we, you know, we don't want any issues. But right now I'm just trying to think of things, of ways to get at least something, at least to, just to make something work. So I'm going to try that, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to get out my PE770, which I probably am, even if that does work, just to try to get multiple orders done, and try to find, you know, it's been almost two years since I even worked one. I mean, I'm, is it like riding a bike? I'm pretty sure I know how, but I was worried because I don't think I have any of that spray adhesive, and that's what I used with it, and I think I gave it all away. So I'll have to see and have to, and it's my old, old one, the one that used to give me issues anyway, so anything, anything right now, anything just to get some work done. Um, I'm not, I work all the time, ask my husband, he, we were just talking about that today, um, how weird it is to not, you know, to have like, I can't work, there's like nothing, I could work on ribbon trims, um, I think I've only got two more of those to complete but anyway he was just saying how I work he's like you always work that's all you do and so he's like you need to like take a break sometimes and I'm like I know but even when I'm not working I'm working if that makes sense so even if like 
I wasn't embroidering something, I'd be upstairs and I would be setting up listings or I'd be ordering supplies or I'd be editing photos or um, I think the real, the only real thing I do outside of work is probably YouTube and that is just, you know, making videos because I like to make videos. I did, there's just, um, last night, um, I didn't film anything else last night. I had, I got the stomach bug. Um, my husband said it's been going around at his work and so y'all know I'm on the, um, medicine for my fingers which lowers your immune system and so he had there's tons of people at work out with it where he works and so this when I was making dinner last night I made hamburgers on the grill hot dogs on the grill um, a pasta salad uh, I did french fries and onion rings in the oven and I was making all that but during that time my stomach was cramping like so bad like it would just cramp really bad and then it ease up and then cramp really bad and I'm like oh my gosh this happened to me not too long ago and I'm like what is going on so I was scared and so then I sat there for a while and I couldn't eat nothing I didn't eat and then maybe an hour or so later I was like okay I feel like I can eat now and so I went and I ate and then I laid there and then I had to go to the bathroom and then I continued I didn't stop all you know so I was like well you know if it's gonna happen might as well happen right now because I don't have to work on nothing because I don't have an embroidery machine that works so um, but I just laid on the couch and we were watching our Michigan videos from you know when we went to the Michigan last time which is going to be two years ago and so you know journey was so little and it's just it's just so you know like reminiscing it's like you know when you reminisce and you look at stuff and you remember stuff and having a video of it you know what I mean be like oh yeah I do remember that oh yeah that happened and I think that is what I get out of it myself is going back and looking at old videos of like when we went to Michigan or even for that matter like a year ago what what our property looked like a year ago because a year ago at this time we didn't have a chicken coop um, we had just gotten the chickens and so you know all of this came about we didn't have our goat pen we didn't have goats we didn't have any of this stuff and now how we have all this stuff and we've kind of you know we've grown accustomed to feeding the animals and all this stuff and it's just our you know the way we live now and so going back and looking at some of those older vlogs even looking at the older vlogs when journey was little or even before that when we were trying to have journey so I think that's the joy that I get out of it is that I'm preserving these memories you know even if you know you know we can't recall everything we can go back and look in the video and you know so that is just why I like to do it and of course I do like to show what I'm working on um, although I don't always show it because in the end those parts of the video I'd probably skip over when you know 10 20 years from now cuz I don't care what I was working on. I hope I'm making sense because I used to get in the beginning well even here recently you know I'd get people that be like oh I don't like to watch any of that stuff I only want to see what you're working on that's fine you know but I'm also going to add in the parts that I want to see so now I'm going to try to clean up and figure out something that will work I'm not trying to get stressed I'm not gonna get stressed and we're supposed to go to Myrtle Beach this coming weekend like this weekend this weekend is Easter so I have Easter dinner and all that stuff to do um, and then next weekend is Myrtle Beach. So I have all these orders that aren't getting done. And I can't cancel it because it's already paid. So, I mean, the way I see it right now is the worst case scenario. Let's say if they needed it by the date and they're not going to get it, I can refund you. I'm not going to go through the trouble of making it just for it not to arrive in time. And I will refund your money. And I'm so sorry that it happened but you know we can't control it <sighs> yeah don't let fear hold you back don't let fear hold you back from the things you want to do I'm not going to be afraid of these customers you know what I mean and let them 
control on what I want. I want to go to the beach. I want to have a good time. I'm not going to have, although it is a job, I'm not going to have them. I mean, if it, if it can't happen, it can't happen. Okay, so I just tried, um, I was trying to make an apron, and I just tried, this is like what I was working on before, but it didn't work, but can you see that blue? I just threw whatever in there and just tried to stitch out, and it did it, and it wasn't on the needle that was giving me the issues. The needle that was giving me the issues before was... Needle number what number is that? 16. And it was the white one. So maybe I'm just having issues with that needle. Like I said, I didn't try. I mean, at the time, excuse me, baby. At the time I didn't try any other like needles because it just wasn't hooking the bobbin. So I assumed that the hook timing was off. The reason I assumed the hook timing was off, what are you putting in your mouth? Don't eat hair, honey. Please. You got hair in your mouth? Let me see it. One. Did you, Where is it? Did you swallow it? Please don't eat hair, you guys. Anyway, so I'm hoping this works. I'm still attempted to get out my um, PE770 to just try to get some of these orders out the door, but hopefully I can. Okay, you need to, this is, this is real life. I love Journey. I love her attention. I love it, but when I'm trying to work and do stuff, she's like always on me, behind me, and right now she, it's, she wants to feel my skin. <laughs> she was back there rubbing my back. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? Mm -hmm. I love you so much. <coughs> Who's my sweet girl? <laughs> Have you seen my sweet girl anywhere? <laughs> where, where is she? I don't see her. Sweet girl! Oh, I can't find her. <coughs> so sad. I can't find my sweet girl. <coughs> Who are you? Who are you? Are you the sweet girl? You are? Let me see. Oh my gosh, it's you! It's really you! It's really, really you! It's you! I mean, just, I can't believe it! I can't believe you're here! Why don't you go watch Guys in the Box? Do you want to? Can Guys in the Box? You want to watch? So, I'm still having issues out of this. It's not stitching correctly. Um, yeah, it's just you know something, something is off. It's just. Oh my gosh! I'm trying not to get discouraged. I'm just like I don't know what gives. Why is it even? Why is it messing up? Why? So I just wasted. I just wasted. All that time. Well, it, like some of the stitching, like it was missing some threads on the embroidery design, so I just stuffed it in my trash can. Um, but I was like, okay, well, I'll just go back over it and see if, like, you know, that would fix the problem. As long as it looks, you know, looks good and, you know. And so I had already <laughs> uploaded my next design, so when I went back, it messed it up. So I was like, it was just like a little bit of thread. And I was like, well, I wonder if I could pull that out. And then get the design back up and then line it up. But my buttons aren't working correctly. So when it gets lined up and I go to stitch, it goes back to where it was. And then I line it up to stitch and it goes back to where it was. I'm like, it's not supposed to be. It's not my, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to try another one see what happens. So here she is guys. I just uh, found all the pieces. <laughs> I had to find the cord and yeah I have to get spray. I don't have any spray. So we're gonna go out to eat and I guess we'll stop by Walmart and get some adhesive spray and all I can do is try.
This, on the other hand, I went ahead and tried another apron. And look, this is what we're getting. So obviously, I can't send that. And this is like, I went over it twice, so underneath it looks crappy too. Let's see how this looks good. Underneath it looks crap. So obviously something is off. I don't know. <laughs> SOS, send help. Try not to get discouraged. I'm, I'm, like I said, there. The only thing that can happen is like you explain to people and they'll get pissed off at you, but that's life. I mean, there's nothing, obviously, I can do because I'm trying to do everything in my power to finish orders. All I need is a Melco Tech. All I need. I got money. I'm willing to pay. Like my husband said, if we had to pay $1,000 right now, we'd pay $1,000. If I could get somebody out here and get these machines up and going like they should be. But it's Friday night. And... We go out to eat on Friday night, so we're going to go out and eat, enjoy dinner. Let me get my brassiere. <laughs> it's been sitting down here for how long? I'll probably trip on that. I will probably trip on that, fall down and break my leg. Do you feed my goats? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's why I pay you, right? I thought a piece of paper fell out. Jern. Somebody come get her. Jordan gets mac and cheese. Darley gets vegetables. We got some chicken. He gets water. He gets water. You're what? I'm trying like to break us on my shirt. Oh, I see it. No, let me like. Oh, gross! There it is. Got it. No, don't look at it. Don't wipe boogers. I don't want egg. I don't want boogers on my eggs. <laughs> what are you gonna do, <laughs> Journey? What are you gonna do?
Are your hands hurting? Because you've been coloring your egg for like 10 minutes. Yeah, my tummy touching. Your tummy is? Yeah. Oh, bless your heart. Sorry to hear that. What happened to this one, Stella? My stuff had stuff in it. I don't know who said it. Thank you. Oh, I haven't tried those yet. This is really cute. looking guitar because it looks like a devil guitar and Mom, this one's right. hey guys so we're home as you saw the girls colored eggs and now you're sitting on top of the PE 770 um, I had to go by they didn't have any um, of the spray. I have no idea if this will work or not. I have, I've never even used this kind. I never even heard of this kind. But it's what I got for now. Laundering will remove or diminish adhesive properties. Okay, so this is the kind I got. I told my husband I just need anything for right now. Hopefully I won't be using this very long. I still haven't heard back. Oh, it's, so, it's just, it's stressful. It's stressful because number one, I have to get all this stuff done before, you know, we go on vacation. 
Um, everything is already paid for. You know, we already got the, the, the condo and stuff. And so the only thing that would hold me back from it is not having work done. And I'm not going to let that happen. So let's see what I can do with my PE 770. Today's goal is Friday night is to just try to get it up and going and see if I can get it working. Um, there wasn't anything. I know I was having issues with, I don't remember which one. Um, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see. My tummy is still a little eh, so that kind of worries me. Um, my... Uh, my husband's cousin, which is also my BSF here in South Carolina, y'all know that she wants to do children's church again, and she got the okay from the preacher to do children's church, and yeah, it's not that I don't want to do children's church, it's just I've been really enjoying hearing the preacher and, you know, hearing the message, and when we do children's church, there's not that many kids. There's like, I mean, really five, six kids at the most. So it's not like it used to be. We used to have a lot of kids. But she wants to do it this Sunday, which is Easter, which I was kind of looking forward to looking to hearing the worship staff singing music. But I also have to cook. I have no one that has to cook all the food, so. Oh no. So I'm gonna make my potato salad tomorrow. We have potato salad and ham and probably a macaroni salad. We'll probably have some vegetables, some baked beans, um, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, let's see if we can get this guy running. It is 2.46 a.m. Um, I made four orders already on this machine. And it has taken me this long. Um, this machine only goes 650, 650 stitches per minute. So, you know, my Melco, the, um, I had to have my pressure foot up as I thread this. Um, the Bravo actually only goes 12, I think it is, but, um, I know some Bravos go faster, this one only goes 12, I think it is, anyway, um, but my Amaya goes 15, so regardless, this is like almost twice as fast, and this is, you know, just really fast, so it's just... I feel like, I feel like it's so, like, quiet and slow and, <laughs> but, you know, this is what I worked on for many, 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 many years. I had a Brother P, well, I have this Brother P 770, and then I bought a second one, and I actually um, just sold it last summer to a local girl. Um, lady I should say um, and we actually talk from time to time on Facebook we have yet to meet in person like I met her husband and her husband um, went to the same school as my husband and um, their kids I just remember the kids being at VBS and you know um, one of the teachers there so you know we kind of we kind of like knew each other but didn't know each other you know what I mean Anyway, I sold her my other, my newer PE770, and then I actually was thinking, like, like probably within the past, uh, since this all happened, I was going to sell this one, um, because I kept saying, well, what I should do is go and have it serviced, because I thought, well, I wonder how much it'd be to serve it. I just wanted to make sure it was in perfect working condition, 
even though I don't really technically have to have it serviced, you know what I mean? Um, I could just sell it as is and they could go get it serviced, but you know, I just wanted that peace of mind that it was in work in good working condition. So anyway, um, I was going to sell it, but now, yeah, I owe trusty, I owe trusty, but I technically have to finish this one and another one. Um, this one is almost done, probably another 20 minutes maybe. And I feel sick to my stomach right now. Mainly because we ate, you know, what, 7? And it is now 3 a.m. So, um, I don't technically like to snack on anything or eat anything. Um, I will get a drink. And I did have Verner's and I drank it all. So, now I'm like, my stomach really wants something to eat. But I'm not going to. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish this other one or not because I'm like feeling this way, sick and tired. If I think of it, I might get up early and stitch it out before the mailman comes, but I don't know. Sometimes he comes early, sometimes he comes late. I just don't know. But anyway, I'm happy to, at, I'm happy to at least be progressing rather than just standing still so these four will go out I have like 13 overdue no wait a minute 12 hold on so do port here oh excuse me I keep yawning I'm sorry I have 14 overdue orders which really really sucks one person I'm wait, actually waiting for the shirt to arrive and I have emailed them um, and they have not messaged me back because I I was gonna have it done like a couple days ago when I messaged them asking if a 24 month shirt would be okay because I was waiting on my two tees to arrive which I hope will be in tomorrow I should check my tracking I keep looking for my fabric which is over here Anyway, let me finish these, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.